Hi everyone! In today's video, I wanted to focus on using model fields to deal with files. Specifically, we'll be working with file field and image field. I wanted to take some extra time with these fields because they do require some extra setup, and I wanted to go over some security issues once we have everything up and running. Before we change our model, we need to get our app ready to serve uploaded files. To do that, we need to tell Django where to save the uploaded files on our system and where the web server should serve the files. To do this, I open up settings.py under Better Reads. First, I'm going to tell Django where to save uploaded files by setting Media Root. This line may look a bit odd, so let me explain what everything here is doing. os.path.join is a helper function that joins several directory paths together. It's more intelligent than just adding a few strings together. Baster is actually defined at the top of the setting files. It's set to the same directory as your Django project. Finally, media is the name of the folder. If it doesn't exist already, it'll be created the first time you go to upload a file. Now let's add media URL, which is where Django will serve all media files. Any files you upload will show up under this path. Finally, we need to make some changes to urls.py so that our media files are actually served since Django doesn't do this automatically. At the top of urls.py, I import a few libraries from Django. At the bottom, after all of my routes, I add a bit of code that tells Django to serve media files if I'm running in debug mode. Let's go over what this bit of code is doing. First, I only run this code if we're in debug mode, which is set in the settings file. Next, I add a new route to URL patterns. The path is media plus a path that will be passed in. Know that this should match the path in your media URL setting. If this route is called, we're going to serve up files from the media route. If you want to test to make sure your settings are working, create a folder that matches the path in media URL and put an image in it. If you go to your media URL plus that image, you should see your image. Now that everything is working, let's add our new model fields. Today, we'll be working with two new model fields. The first is file field, which stores a file. Second is image field, which is like file field, except that it's especially suited to storing images. Our sample chapter will be a file field, and our cover is going to be an image field. Under models.py, I'm going to add a new model field to our book. File field has one new optional attribute, upload to. This tells Django to upload fields to a specific directory. This can help keep our files organized. I could just set this to a folder, but I'm going to add some variables to it so that Django will create some subfolders for me. This is totally optional, but I found it super helpful to do this. Percent %y stands for a numerical four-digit year. Percent %m stands for a numerical two-digit month. Percent %d stands for a numerical two-digit day. So, when I upload a new file, it's going to be saved to a folder structure that's the current year, month, and day. I'm also going to set null and blank to true, since I don't want to backfill any data and I don't want to require a sample chapter. To show you how this all comes together, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick migration and open up the admin. As you can see, I can now upload a sample chapter. Let's do that and save. If I click on the link next to the chapter, the file loads. Looks like everything is working just fine. And since everything is working, let's add our cover. Once again, I'm going to add a model field to book. The upload directory is going to be slightly different, mostly to keep everything organized. I'm also going to set blank and null to true since I don't want to backfill any data and I don't want the field to be required. I'm going to do a quick migration. If I try to run my development server at this point, I get an error. Image field is going to require a new library, the Python Imaging Library, or PIL. To install this, I'm going to stop my server and run pip install pillow. Pillow is a more user-friendly version of pill and is what Django recommends. Once that's done, I'm going to run my server again and go to the admin. I'm going to upload a book cover, save, and it looks like everything is working. Now that I've shown you how to upload files, it's time for a few warnings. First, if you're going to allow other users to upload files, you absolutely need to protect yourself. A user can upload a malicious file that can wreak havoc on your system. I won't go over this in this video, but you should read up on this before you allow users you don't know to add files to your server. 
Second, these settings will not work on a non-developer instance. I won't be going over those settings in this video because they're specific to where you deploy. That'll be its own series. Third, you should seriously considering hosting all of your static and uploaded media on a CDN of some sort. This will also be covered in a future video, probably in the series about deploying your Django app. And that's all I have for today. In our next video, we're going to go over more complicated filtering and using the Django shell. Also, coming up is a video where we take all the fields we've made in the last two videos and display them to our users. Until then, if you have any questions, track me down on Twitter or hit me up in the comments. And thanks for watching.